Well, would you look at this? We got us another one. Maybe we should just cook it alive. Or better yet, put it in the cage with the green one. I bet he's hungry too. <laughs> That'll be a bloody mess, that is. Hey, monster. Wake up. We brought you some dinner. <laughs> Let's leave him to it. It'll be quite a mess in the morning. <sighs> what are you looking at? Have you never seen an orc before? The big, bloodthirsty beasts that's only purpose in life is to kill? That's what you see when you look at me, isn't it? So, what grotesque thing might a tiny grunt like you have done to get put in the same level as me? What are you, deaf? Or are you just frozen with fear that I'll rip the skin right off your bones with these tusks of mine? <sighs> it's useless to try to even hold a conversation with someone when you look like me. All people seem to see is your history when they look at you. And seeing as how I'm an orc, well, you know the rest. Still frightened? Oh, be quiet. Contrary to popular belief, we don't eat people. But if you don't stop looking at me like that, you'll be the exception. Looks like you'll be stuck here for a while with me. Hope you don't mind sharing a cell with a monster. <laughs> Let me guess. They caught you traveling too close to Volkarat, and you couldn't pay the outrageous toll. Am I right? Hmm. What did I do to get imprisoned? Easy. I'm an orc. All they have to do is make up a claim, and I'm done for. <sighs> I wouldn't expect you to understand. And now instead of killing me right away, they keep me around as entertainment, killing whatever they want me to. <sighs> Why do you want to know my name? No one ever cares to learn an orc's name. Why do you care? <sighs> Fine. We're both trapped here, so what could it hurt? My name is Thresh. And what about yours, Tiny? Hmm. I think I'll just stick to Tiny. So Tiny, what do you do for a living? <sighs> Look. I've been trapped here long enough to value the small talk. At least with those who survive long enough. So tell me, what do you do? I don't suppose you know how to use a sword well, then. Hmm. You'll have to do. Huh? Nothing. What do I do for a living? Well, I was part of a mercenary pack, simply put. I kill things for money. It was one of the only things a guy who looked like me could do in this unforgiving world. And why yes, I do know my way around an axe. Put one in my hands and you can consider any target dead. Uh, <clears throat> uh, forgive me, I was rambling, it's just... No one has ever held a normal conversation with me before. I quite like it. You know what? Since I've decided that I like you now, I'll tell you what. When I break out of here, I'll let you tag along. When do I plan on breaking out? Oh, well... What time is it now? 11.30? 
Well, now should work just fine. Hmm. Humans make sloppy irons. If an orc would have made those cuffs, it would have taken me a few more seconds to snap them. Now as for your chains... That should do the trick. Now I'll bust the lock on the count of three and jump on my back. You'll be slow with those tiny legs. I'll carry you. We could be out of here and halfway to the Sparian Woods by sunrise. Are you ready? One, two, three. Get on. Good. They're all drunk and asleep, as I guessed. The only ones we have to worry about are the two sentries at the exits. They should be right up ahead. Uh, there they are. Now tell me, Tiny. Have you ever choked someone out? Well, it's simple. Just grab their neck and squeeze from behind until they stop moving. Got it? Now I'll get the one on the right, and you take the one on the left. And go. Well, not bad for a tiny meat bag. Now hop on. We gotta put some distance between us and this place. Here seems like a good place to make a camp. Ah, we reek. I hear a waterfall nearby. Maybe if it's clear, we can take some much needed baths. You go check that out while I start the fire. <sighs> well, I've got the fire started. Now all I desire is a bath for the evening. Huh? What do you mean, why am I naked? I'm going to take a bath. Don't you bathe naked where you come from, Tiny? What? Your people think it's indecent to be exposed like this in front of each other? Well then, I guess you'll just have to put up with my culture for now. <laughs> well, aren't you going to bathe, Tiny? Well, fine. Sit there and stink. But trust me when I say the owl bears in this forest love that scent. <laughs> Have you changed your mind so fast? And if you're not comfortable, I'll just go on the other side of the waterfall. That's fine. Really? All right, suit yourself. Ah. <sighs> This has to be the best feeling in the world. A nice bath after a long day of breaking out of prison and running for our lives. Really hits the spot. Hmm. So tell me, why are you sticking around? You know, with an orc. I'm not really good for your image, so you can take off whenever you feel like it. Hmm? You owe me? You know I don't care about that stuff, right? You can go if you really want to. And honestly, I won't blame you. Hmm? Huh? You really won't feel good if you don't repay me. Fine. Suit yourself. Hmm. What is some outlandish thing I could get you to do? So that you don't feel tied to me. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I've got it, but you won't like it. <laughs> You've got to give me a kiss. <laughs> yep, a kiss from an orc. Who would even think of such a th What the? Did you really just... Uh, uh, um, y you know I was fucking with you, right? But 
I'm a monster. You can't just actually go around kissing monsters, you tiny fool. You know, the indecent thing with your people and stuff. Um, well, if you still want to stick around, I won't mind it. But, uh, you know, because the owl bears and stuff. I'm just going to go back to the camp and sleep. Good night.